Allahabad High Court has given bail to a man booked under Protection of Children from Sexual Offences or POCSO Act while observing that the stringent provisions of law were not intended for punishing teenagers in romantic relationships. The case was about a man eloping with a 14-year-old girl. They got married and gave birth to a child in the span of two years. But the girl's father in 2019 filed a case against the man for allegedly luring his daughter. While hearing the man's bail application, the judge observed that more and more cases of teens and young adults falling victim of POCSO offences have far-reaching implications and the severity of such cases must be considered. Well, so this is an interesting uh, observation made by the Allahabad High Court that there must be some amount of caution exercised in using POCSO against teenage romances. What the High Court is saying is that the person who was booked under POCSO uh, was involved in a romantic relationship with a teenager. It was a consensual relationship and therefore to book uh, the man under the POCSO Act was uh, too severe according to this observation and therefore he was given bail. The case was about uh, two teenagers eloping who got married and also had a child within a span of two years. The case is from 2019 when the girl's father actually uh, appealed against uh, the man in question for eloping with, the, with his daughter. Let me go across to Mr. Ramakan Gaur, senior lawyer joining us here on the program. Good afternoon, Mr. Gaur. Uh, your observations on uh, the kind of uh, statements that has come from the Allahabad High Court on, on cases where the POCSO cannot be applied and romantic relationship between teenagers is something that the court has cited. Uh, good afternoon, Afrid, and thanks for having me. Uh, let me tell you that High Court has not said that the POCSO provisions cannot be attracted in such cases. Because paragraph 22 of uh, this judgment is very specific that nothing observed in this bail order would come into the way of trial court for deciding the matter on merits. Secondly, High Court has specifically directed the trial court to culminate the trial proceedings within one year. So let us understand this first. Yes, yes. this is an exceptional order canvassing all the recent proposition were prevalent situations, psychological conditions, and various other factors. And that's the reason we always say that, that the law is not dead wood written in the black letters. Law is something which is live set of rules, which is subservient to catch the principle enunciated in the Constitution. And the Constitution you know, uh, puts the right to life um, on the highest pedestal. And the right to life encapsulates right of bail also. Yes. So a teenager fell into the romantic relationship with another teenager would not certainly attract the draconian provision of POXO. Yes, it may, it may not be a right step. It may not be legitimate. But it is not that illegal and sinful in terms of uh, Allahabad High Court. Because High Court was seized of the facts of the matter. So I would not fall into that aspect. But legally speaking, certain very harsh conditions have also been foisted upon the uh, applicant Atul Mishra. When the High Court says, no, you have to put an FDR of rupees 5 lakhs for uh, uh, ensuring the rights of the wife, so-called wife, because she will not get the status of wife, and the child. It's, it's really very critical situation. You see, a judge is also a human being. Hmm. The settled law is that you will not fall into the domain of creating law. Yes. You will not read something which is not there in, in the uh, plain words. And the POXO is really very strongly worded uh, 
statutory provision. Absolutely. We'll have to leave it at that, Mr. Gore. Thank you so much for giving us a clear understanding and where the pitfalls lie. Of course, this uh, is a bail order. It's not an acquittal by any stretch of imagination. We'll have to wait and see how this case uh, actually finally uh, pans out in the legal scenario. Thanks for joining us, sir.